Okay, so we've had a look at 720p 60fps. We're going to move on to 1080p 60fps. So if you missed that video or would like to see it, you can click on the screen or there'll be a link in the description. Now let's get on with 1080p. Once you have your video imported, just like always, we want to right click on it, go down to properties and then disable resample. Press OK. Once again, same as last time, we're going to use the AVC slash AAC MP4 format and we're going to go down to where it says 1080p. So we have 1080p 25 FPS, Internet HD. Click on customize template. You want to give it a name. So YouTube 1080p 60 FPS. You want to make sure it's included the video, have the enable progressive download. Make sure that this says HD 1080p 1920 times 1080. Keep this on off, set the profile on high, Put this to 60, leave that on off, fill the order on none, this on one. Next one is really important. You need to take this one if you don't want your video to be pixelated. So what this option does is it tries to reduce the amount of duplicated pixels so that you don't have large pixels in your image or video. By default, this will set it on quite high. And unfortunately, because we're gonna upload it to YouTube, they do have a limit to the maximum file size and the maximum bitrate. The recommended one for YouTube for the HDR is 15,000. Now, because it's gonna be compressed, we're gonna put it a little bit higher. Keep this on four, so the number of slices. Use the main concept, AVC encoder. Now, if you wanted to, you can use the NV encoder, which is basically Nvidia or Intel. This is the two different technologies which also allow you to render a video. You want to go over to the audio and then set this one to 384,000. Make sure this one's on 48,000 and this is ticked. So you have the audio. All you got to do now is press save on this icon right here. So I'm just going to show you a quick test. Press save, press OK, and then it will appear in here. Once you get in here, you just click on the star and then add in yourself a show favorites only filter. So then it will only appear in here. These are gonna be your favorite ones. You just want to make sure now that you look at the folder and then give it a name. Once you're happy with it, you then press render. And there we go, we are done. So we're just gonna open this. And here is our video.